Hello my Whoop friends. This video is part of a short video series where I try to share my experiences with the Meteor 75 Pro with you as well as all my Whoop knowledge. I'll try to show you valuable tips and tricks that should help you with the Meteor 75 Pro Whoop as well as with other tiny Whoops. Check out the other videos on my channel to get the most out of my many years of Whoop race and RC flying experience. Let's get started. Hello my Whoop friends, let's talk about the possible modifications for your Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro. Most of these modifications can of course also be applied to other tiny Whoops. This video is just a short summary of the possibilities. For most of the modifications in this video, there are already videos on this YouTube channel that go into more detail. And for some modifications, in-depth videos and tutorials are still to come in the future. More videos are also planned for topics like flight techniques, beta flight software, and other subjects. But it takes patience. Many people don't realize how much work a single video requires. That's why, dear Whoop friends, I do my best and try to make a video on every important topic. But it takes weeks, months, or maybe years. Everything takes its time. And if something is really going to be good, it needs a lot of time. So dear Whoop friends, be patient and appreciate what is, instead of getting upset about what isn't. And get creative yourselves. Each of you has the Whoop Master inside. Free it and feed it with Whoop nourishment. For example, by practicing flying. Practice, practice, practice. That's the spirit, friends. Less thinking, more doing. Make mistakes, learn from them, and get better. Every day. Let's go! One of the simplest modifications I want to introduce to you is the propellers. Fortunately, there are now a few options in the 45mm size. I don't really like the stock Gemfan 45mm propellers because they are prone to prop wash and bend relatively quickly in a crash. My favorite for outdoor freestyle racing is the Beta FPV 45mm propeller. And in my opinion, the best one for indoor racing is the HQ Prop 45mm propeller. If you want to learn more about the available propellers for the Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro, or if you want to gain general knowledge about propellers for tiny whoops, then check out my other videos on the topic of propellers. Links are in the video description. Another simple modification is titanium motor screws from AliExpress. Titanium is much lighter than steel, but still very strong. Overall, you can save 0.3 grams of weight on your Meteor 75 Pro with titanium motor screws. And that's on the outer part of your 75 Pro, which is important for agility. To make sure you don't lose the motor screws, you need to secure them with thread locker or with felt pads like I do. The felt pads have the advantage of also preventing dirt from getting to the lower bearing of the motor from below. And the felt pads also help prevent the screws from scratching things. For example, the furniture or the floor in your apartment when landing or crashing. A small but effective modification to enjoy your Meteor 75 Pro for longer is securing the motor wires with dental floss. I already explained why in detail in a previous video. In short, if you secure your motor wires to the struts of your ducts with dental floss, cable breaks are less likely to happen. That means you can fly longer without needing to repair anything. The same applies to this canopy, and actually to all three-point canopies. From a durability standpoint, four-point canopies are always better. And if, like here, you have a three-point canopy, then it's worth creating a fourth mounting point with dental floss. I'll make a separate video on that at some point for those who need it. One of the most important modifications for the 75 Pro, and also for many other tiny whoops, is, in my opinion, a continuous screw through the flight controller standoffs, ideally made of titanium. I explained exactly how that works in detail in an earlier video. Another very important modification is securing the 2.4 GHz antenna, and sometimes also the 5.8 GHz antenna. I'll make a more detailed video about this in the future too. But actually, it's quite simple. Secured like this, you can do a lot of flights with your tiny whoop without the antenna breaking off. Maybe it'll even last forever. 
a modification that certainly not everyone has to or wants to do is replacing the camera with a tiny whoop pinch camera. As a racer, I like the strong contrast and the fisheye lens of the tiny whoop pinch camera. That's why I switched to a tiny whoop pinch camera. I attached the camera with dental floss in the original camera mount. I also tried it with a small rubber band, but it melted because the pinch cam circuit board gets quite hot during operation. In one of my earlier videos, I show you how you can change your lens to one with more fisheye. How you can make your camera, or rather the camera's circuit board, almost indestructible is something I show in my earlier video on the topic of modifying a tiny whoop camera. An important modification for pilots who fly a lot and or want more power and less voltage sag is removing the motor connectors and directly soldering the motor wires to the flight controller's solder pads. I show how to do this in an earlier video on this YouTube channel. And I also explain what the problem is with motor connectors in a previous video on this channel. In that earlier video, I also show you how to keep your motor connectors working smoothly for as long as possible. Removing the motor connectors and soldering the motor wires is not easy, but it's definitely worth it especially for pilots who want to do more than 150 flights with their Meteor 75 Pro. Soldering the motor wires gives you more power, better efficiency, and more stable voltage. An important modification for pilots who fly a lot and or want more power and less voltage sag is, besides directly soldering the motor wires, also replacing the stock AWG-22 main cable with an AWG-20 cable which has a thicker cross-section and lower internal electrical resistance. This results in more power and longer flight time. I've already made several videos on the AWG-20 main cable topic, which you can find on this YouTube channel. Soldering the main cable isn't easy either, but if it's possible for you and you already have some soldering experience, I would highly recommend this modification. You can practice soldering on old circuit boards from electronic devices, it's not exactly the same, but it helps you build some routine. I'll eventually make a video on the topic of soldering too. Please note that the cable routing of the main cable is not optimal on my Beta FPV 75 Pro matrix in this video. I will also make a video in the future specifically on cable routing. Naturally, the main connector should also be of good quality. Nowadays, there are basically only the Beta FPV BT 2.0 connector and the GNB A30 connector. Both are good and almost identical, and they are also compatible. An A30 female socket LiPo connector fits into a BT 2.0 male pin connector on your drone. Of course, you can also lighten your BT 2.0 connector like I do here. However, this only saves a little weight and is optional in my opinion. Another possible modification is lightening the tiny whoop frame. Many tiny whoop frames have quite a bit of unnecessary material that you can remove to save weight. You can find inspiration for frame modifications on this YouTube channel. It's important not to work aimlessly, but to carefully think about where the material is not needed. I usually remove the unnecessary material on my tiny whoop frames with a sharp PCB drill from AliExpress. I'll make an in-depth video on the topic of frame modifications in the future. There's often also weight to be saved on the canopy, another possible modification. For canopies, I often work with PCB drills from AliExpress and other tools to remove unnecessary material. I will make an in-depth video about canopy modifications in the future as well. It's also important to trim the canopy's little feet on the Meteor 75 Pro and other whoops so that, in a crash, the canopy feet can't slam into the UFL plug of the 5.8 GHz antenna. With this modification, you ensure that the UFL plug isn't torn off the flight controller. Another durability modification is securing the main cable with dental floss. The main cable can also suffer from wire breakage. That's why it's worth tying the main cable to the whoop frame with dental floss wherever possible to create strain relief. Sometimes that's not possible for various reasons, but if it is possible, I would highly recommend this modification. What I almost forgot is a weight modification I did on my old 75 Pro, shortening the 5.8 GHz antenna. 
A simple linear antenna instead of a dipole antenna saves almost 0.4 grams of weight. However, it should be noted that the reception is somewhat worse with it. But if you fly alone and within a smaller range, then a linear antenna is completely sufficient. I will also make a video on this topic in the future. The dry weight of this modified 75 Pro Whoop is currently 30.6 grams with the modifications and repairs. A dry weight just under 30 grams is possible for the Meteor 75 Pro. You can find videos of the repairs, like many other things, on this YouTube channel if you want to repair your Whoops too. Basically, almost everything on a tiny Whoop can be repaired or replaced somehow. I hope you enjoyed this video presenting some modifications. As I said, I will make more in-depth tutorials, but I've already made in-depth tutorials for many of these mods, which you can already find on this YouTube channel. Use the channel's internal search function and check the playlists. There's not much left in this Meteor 75 Pro video series, just a few more in-depth videos. After that, I will make more videos about learning to fly and about useful functions of the Betaflight software, especially for Whoop Race pilots. A little bonus for those of you who watched the video all the way to the end, a little teaser of my current Whoop build, a 75 Pro with 1,000 to 25,000 kilovolts motors from GPRC. So an 8010225K build with an NBD race spec board. Stay tuned, my friends. In the coming months, there will be a few more videos about the Meteor 75 Pro. How you can modify it, how you can repair it and so on. Stay tuned, my friends. And subscribe to the channel and set the notifications to on so you don't miss a single video. And last but not least, you can already find many videos of the Meteor 75 Pro on this channel in which I try to help you with this tiny woo. Lots of tutorials, tuning tips, flight tips and repair videos. And there will be even more in the future if I am motivated enough by you, my friends. Stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel and activate the notification if you want to know when I publish a new video. And if you decide to buy a new Meteor 75 Pro or another Whoop from Beta FPV, please use the affiliate link in the video description. This motivates me to publish more high quality videos. A like or a comment from you also helps motivate me to produce new videos with educational content. In other words, you will probably have the most videos for this Whoop and the best support in the future if all goes well. I can't promise anything, but I'll do my best. The chances are good. I've also made many other posts with educational content in my YouTube community. It's worth checking out the posts. There are even a few tips I haven't made a video about it yet. So be sure to check them out. Maybe you can learn something from them that will make your whoop life a little easier. Happy flying my whoop friends!